card. Go to the Kansas Wildlife and Parks homepage and click on the State Parks icon. This will take you to the State Parks page where you may learn all about our Kansas State Parks. Go to Locations with Cabins. This will bring up all the Kansas State Parks that currently have cabins. Choose the state park that you wish and learn about each cabin there by clicking on the cabin's name. This brings up information about the cabin including its map location, what type of cabin it is, how many it sleeps and what you'll need, how much it costs to rent, and a photo gallery that shows some of its amenities. Let's look at the process. Say you'd like to rent a cabin at Crawford State Park. Starting at the State Park icon, go to Locations with Cabins, find Crawford State Park, and click on that. All cabins available are listed. In this case, only one, Shady Rest Cabin. Click on that. Information on the cabin appears along with a button at the bottom of the page to make a reservation. That button brings you to a date availability page. Date shaded green or white are available for reservation. First, you must log in to reserve a cabin. This easy page requires you to type in your Kansas Wildlife and Parks number, or if you don't know that, your social security number, date of birth, and a username or password that you create yourself. Then type your email address. Click register at the bottom of the page and a customer information edit page comes up where you can check and make sure that all information is correct. When this is accurate, click save. Now you are returned to your cabin page where you can select the dates that you wish along with the number of nights. Click on the date you wish to arrive and then select the number of nights you'd like to stay. When this is correct, click Add to Basket. A new page will appear that shows your basket, how many nights, the cost of your stay, the night you will check in, and the day you will leave. Click Check Out. An edit page will appear to confirm that all information is correct. Click OK to confirm your order. Now you can approve for payment by clicking the button at the bottom of the page. You'll be rerouted to a secure PayPal page where you fill out your personal information, credit card number, and expiration date. Now you have a final chance to review your order before actually paying and reserving a cabin. Then click Pay Now. You'll receive an immediate order confirmation for your records. That's all there is to it. With this in hand, you're ready to enjoy a great experience in a Kansas State Park. Thanks for shopping for Kansas State Park cabins.